Song Winery. He was actually a vintner and owned a vineyard before he was on ABC's Bachelor. And we're honored to have him here tonight with us at Sea Lakes as uh, he's behind the bar, he's engaging with guests. The guests are loving him, taking photos and signing wine bottles. And we're just honored to have him a part of our event. We, we love bringing, um, you know, celebrities, so to speak, and well-known um, folks into Sea Lakes, into the community, and we're having a great time. We were super blessed to have teamed up with Alexander Dale, Chef Alexander Dale. He's the grandson of Villanova and definitely has in his blood the gift of great culinary cuisine. And he has taken what we had a dream of having some amazing uh, food to go with wine and put it to a whole nother level. When we first opened our doors, we were nominated for two Golden Foodie Awards and took home the award for Best California Cuisine. Uh, this year, we were nominated for three Golden Foodie Awards and we took home the award for Best California Cuisine. We were nominated for Best Wine uh, List. We were also nominated for Best New Restaurant. Uh, after that, immediately after that, we won from OC Weekly, Best Wine Bar in Orange County. We also won from Parenting OC, the Best Night Out. Yeah, you know, we've, we have been covered by Riviera. We've been we have a three-page spread in Locale Magazine right now. Um, the list really goes on and on. We've had Star Magazine come out from Orange Coast Magazine to Metro, OC Metro Magazine to OC Register. I mean, all of the major media in this market in Orange County have definitely had their eyes on Huntington Beach and we definitely are putting a culinary mark in this city and in this county. The HB Chambers Chairman's Circle Luncheon was held last week at the beautiful Shore Break Hotel at the Strand. The Chairman's Circle gives recognition to the Chamber's largest investors, those companies looking for added visibility and additional positive impacts on the community. Guest speaker was Dennis Cool, chairman of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, who talked baseball, yes, but more importantly, shared business insights onto building good customer service, branding, and having fun. As a manager, and a lot of us are in business and we're managers, but do we really touch our fan? Do we really touch our customer? Who touches our customer in, in baseball? It's not me, it's, it's not John, it's not Artie, a little bit, but it's our ushers, it's our parking lot attendants, it's our ticker takers that touch. So what we did is we started taking a look at how we were approaching our customer. And some of the things we learned was our ticket takers at the, at the gate would just take your ticket, not look you in the eye, just take your ticket and scan it and that was it. So we taught them, when somebody comes in and you get a ticket, you say thank you for coming, enjoy the game, whatever, and smile, you know, just smile. Um, Who's the first person you see when you come to the game? It's a parking lot attendant. Smile. Do you know where you're going? May I help you? You know, just smile. That's the, the greatest greeting in the world, in my opinion. A Q&A round Anybody? followed the address yes. with a mix of inside baseball tidbits, including the necessity of giving back to one's community through baseball and the nonprofits Dennis and the Angels are involved in. The players are getting the message. There's our players like Hank and uh, Jared and CJ and Pujols and Howie and um, Borges and everything else like that. They've played baseball all their lives. That's all they've known. They really do not have any exposure to really what's out there. So we take a lot of time in trying to expose them to the different charities. As a member itself, management knows the prominent role Shorebreak plays in being top of mind. Uh, it's a really, really great part to have, really key top brass of the chamber to be able to come right to the hotel, experience some of the food we have here, um, and on Halloween day. Uh, plus to get to judge part of our pumpkin carving contest. Uh, it's a huge, huge deal here at Shore Break where all the, all the departments get together and carve their own pumpkins. So we really appreciate you guys having us. It's service, service, service. Service was definitely one of the themes of the luncheon. It speaks volumes that nowadays um, service is so important. It's, I mean, everywhere from the Anaheim Angels to hotels in our community to small businesses. HB Chamber President and CEO Jerry Wheeler announced the winners of the annual Business and Leadership Awards with board chair and Anaheim Angels fan Diane Thompson announcing the Chairman's Award. This particular person uh, that's getting the Chairman Award this year is really deserving, and most of you know, uh, Steve Bone. So he's done a lot for our community. He's moved on from visit to Huntington Beach and all kinds of fun stuff. So that's that one. All the winners are found on this eblast chamber Facebook page and website. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. For Huntington Beach Business News and your Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce, 
This is Matt Lifford.